I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 290, how to make a formula dynamic to the number of items in a category, or in this case, the number of years. I want to thank Frank for sending in this question and a simple model. He has uh, some KGAR that he's compound annual growth rate, which he's trying to calculate here. And his question is, is how do I make this formula dynamic in the exponent to calculate the number of years automatically? I would like to say that I would like to say that this isn't something that needs to be automatically. This is something that needs to be automatically. And that is what you can do within Quantrix Modeler. You can make things automatic. So how do I do this? So as my years go out here, I want my exponent to increase and you simply need to go out and write in a pound year here because what pound year does is it brings back the position or the index of this item within the array of year so in this case it would be indeed four because this is year four over here it would be uh, year it would be three because that's year three this one would be year five because it of course you get it so if I want to create kind of a dynamic uh, formula based off and have it be based off of the number of items or the item yeah the count of items within uh, the category you can go ahead and simply use the index of the category and that will bring back you know a dynamic number again using the hashtag uh, gets you there and if you have any questions about Quantrix I do hope that you'll reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com I really do want to make you a Quantrix master because I love Quantrix so please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.